South Africa staging 10 days of joint naval uh, drills uh, with Moscow, Vivian Walt. Uh, and uh, those drills will be ongoing on February 24th. Russia and China. So, um, you know, yes. And I think that it's very indicative of a feeling within South Africa as the biggest economy on the African continent and much of Africa as well. That is not with the West on this on this uh, aspect. They are not all for Ukraine. Um, they see it as kind of a major West-East battle in which they are kind of the neutral party. And for that matter, maybe a little bit pro-Russian. Because um, we saw protests uh, when recently there was the visit of the, the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov. Not terribly big. But that's I what say. I was going to ask you. Yeah. Is, uh, what does the South African street think about all this? I think the South African street probably doesn't think much one way or another. But certainly I think the government see their economic interests as not particularly lying with Europe and the U.S. on this. China is massively involved in Africa and has been for decades. Um, A lot of the infrastructure has been built by China. And and Russia has been increasingly muscling in there. So, you know, cutting good energy deals, things that matter to Africa. Um, and which perhaps the West has been somewhat neglectful in having kept up with. Um, now, of course, you have what's essentially a sort of reordering of, of the international spheres of influence. Um, and in some ways, Africa is sort of up for grabs. And that's kind of a worrying thing. I mean, it's a continent with an enormous amount of critical um, resources. 